Good morning. Question. Does sin change us? Our reading today is at Jeremiah 13, verses 24 to 27. Therefore I will scatter them like stubble that passes away by the wind of the wilderness. This is your lot, the portion of your measures from me, says the Lord, because you have forgotten me and trusted in falsehood. Therefore I will uncover your skirts over your face that your shame may appear. I have seen your adulteries and your lustful neighings, the lewdness of your harlotry, your abominations on the hills in the fields. Woe to you, O Jerusalem! Will you still not be made clean? Someone said that nothing stands still. And you know, it is true. We're either advancing or we're declining. We're, we're, not, we're not treading water. We're never holding our own. We're never just standing still. We're either going forward or we're going backward. Spiritually, we're going forward or backward. We're always choosing. We're always voting. We're always being. And so as we saw yesterday, there is already this invasion from Babylon. It is underway. The, they are now in the land. They're coming. The terrible time has come. Very soon now, many of these people, by the thousands, they'll be carried away to captivity in Babylon. And it's no surprise. They've forgotten God. They've, they've, in doing that, they've abandoned his protections. No surprise. So now they're going to be utterly scattered. Their spiritual adulteries, their fornications, their choices, high-handed, open, open, in, in the sight of all, decisions to be outside of God's will, now they're coming to fruition. Everybody has seen this, and God has seen it more closely than anyone else. God was watching closely. And so God, on the very eve of their carrying away into captivity, he asks a remarkable question. It was in the last verse, verse 27. Woe to you, O Jerusalem, will you still not be made clean? What a question. That's certainly the, the punchline, not as a joke, but that's, the, that's the, with the prophetic spot there that we want to highlight here. Would, o Jerusalem, will you still not be made clean? Even as they're on the verge of being swept away into captivity, God is asking them, hey, come to your senses. You're going to come to your senses, I hope, even in captivity, but come to your senses. Some people take, by the way, verse 23, not far before this, and say, well, look, you can't change. You just can't change. But it's because they can change with God's help, with God's power, they can change, that God is so frustrated with them. See, the people in the kingdom of Judah can turn. They just won't turn. God wants to change people. He wants to bring them close to himself. He wants to give us the abundant life, John 10, 10, so we can have life and have it more abundantly. But a lot of people are very stuck with their little narrow life, the things that they are doing. They're, they're just happy with chips and dip and, and don't give me anything more. So much is possible with the gospel if we'll just team up with God, if we'll just allow him to do what he wants to do. You fight against God, you're left yourself and you will go into captivity. God will not force it. And so to you and I as individuals, God asks us, will you still not be made clean? Is there something in your life you need to surrender to him? You need to give up? You know you need to give it up. You know it's not where you want it to be. It's on your conscience. God is communicating with you. Will you still not be made clean? Let's take him up on his gracious offer and let him cleanse us. All things, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and so can you. Hey, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, oh, the lesson before us of Judah now going to be swept into captivity that's a lesson for us. Help us to be right, Lord. Whatever we're holding back from you, whatever we know we shouldn't be holding back, Lord, help us to bring it up, put it on the table, help us to hand it over to you. We can trust you. We know we can trust you. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. And we know that you have beautiful plans for us if we'll only just cooperate with you. Bless us, we pray, not because of any works we do, but because of Jesus. Thank you for hearing our request, Lord and giving it to us in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So yes, sin changes us all the time, and right doing changes us all the time. Let's choose right with Jesus. Have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus today.